This is my first ever day in Phuket, Thailand. I've just taken a two hour flight from Bangkok and I've just absolutely enjoyed my time in Bangkok. It was absolutely amazing, the food, transport, and just the city life. I absolutely love it. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you guys how I found Phuket on my first day here. And yeah, be sure to watch till the end so you don't miss anything. Hey, my name is Joshua and in today's video, I'm gonna be telling you all about my first day in Phuket. So if you're interested in more videos about me, a young 21 year old man traveling around Asia and Thailand, be sure to like this video and subscribe so you don't miss anything that I upload. So guys, to begin with transport and how I actually got to Phuket, there's um, various different ways you can do it. You can actually take a, I think a 20 hour bus ride or something or a 20 hour train ride, which I found was just way too long. And I just found doing a um, two hour plane ride to be the cheapest and it's currently August. So the, the plane ticket prices are really cheap. So I took a plane flight from Bangkok to Thailand to Phuket and it was pretty seamless. I got to the airport. Um, I just checked in online through my phone and I printed out the boarding password. So everything was pretty easy, no hassles. And I was able to bring my check-in baggage for around about um, 2,000 baht. So it's pretty good for a flight or whatever price I got a flight. I forgot, I forgot the price. So as you guys can see here, it's pretty seamless. Um, travel so once I got to Phuket I noticed the massive shift in atmosphere from the city life in Bangkok while in Chiang Mai to more of a mountainous vibe in Phuket it was a completely different vibe where it was more like tropical more like islandy and all that kind of stuff even just coming out of the airport you could already feel that kind of vibe and then I took a one hour boat ride for about 500 baht to my my hotel accommodation that I booked on the exact same day mind you by the way because I wanted to stay around Patong Beach, which is the where I'm at right now. Actually, this is Patong Beach, guys. At um, 3 a.m. in the morning, it's literally in the morning. And um, over here, pretty big beach. It kind of re reminds me of the more Sydney kind of beaches, and it's back in Australia where I'm from. So it's cool that I get to experience um, the beach life here in Thailand. This is my first time ever being in a beach. I've been um, in Chiang Mai and Bangkok. It's a really nice change of pace. So, guys, the hotel. Pretty decent. I'm not going to talk about it too much because it's just some um, first day accommodation. I want to get out of the way and then I'm going to stay in a more nicer place here for about seven days. So I only paid 500 baht, so it's really cheap. And you honestly, you get what you pay for. The hotel is just a place to sleep at. Nothing too crazy, guys. Don't expect too much. But the location, absolutely phenomenal. You can actually walk straight to Patong Beach from the hotel. So I guess that's pretty good because back in Australia, if you're going to rent any place near the beach, times the price by at least 10 to 20 times because the price is insane. To say near Bondi Beach or something in Australia, absolutely insane price difference. So I'm going to talk about the local attractions and the things I've seen so far. But mind you, it's only been the first day, so I haven't really been around everywhere. I've just been around um, Patong Beach and the Patong area. and I'm gonna be honest for a second and it wasn't for me at least I was staying near the more red light district kind of place um, strip clubs and those kind of clubbing and degenerate kind of stuff and honestly everywhere whereas um in Bangkok those kind of places are more hidden and in Chiang Mai there's literally none of that but here in Phuket Bangla Road or whatever it's called I was walking past it and it was just absolutely degenerate and not something for my taste even though I'm a young guy I have my own girlfriend and I I'm not really interested in that um, massage parlors and all those kind of things. But I guess if you're into that, there's plenty here in Phuket. But I definitely just tried to walk past it. And guys, that street was insanely busy. A lot of music, a lot of loud music, tons of people. And mind you, this is off season. And to see it so filled and so full of people. And there's a lot of people, like English people, even holding up signs and Thai people trying to sell you stuff. And I, they didn't really talk to me, I think because I look Thai, but they were talking to all the white people. And so over here in Phuket, you definitely can expect a lot of tourists compared to Bangkok and even Chiang Mai. Well, Chiang Mai has no tourists at all, but um, here in Phuket, it's insane, guys. Look, just look at this, man. But yeah, for local attraction, I think being able to go to the beach, being able to go to the 7-Eleven is it's just like Thailand with a huge different shift in ab atmosphere, like I explained before. Massive shift, and guys, it's my, only my first day here, so I'm gonna report back on my first week here, so you guys can see if I change my mind in, on Phuket and see if I like it more or things like that. But right now, I'm, I kinda do prefer Bangkok and Chiang Mai for the networking opportunities. Phuket, does, 
feels like a tourist destination right now guys and it's my first day but I hope to see more local areas more cozy areas more comforting areas here in Phuket as I learn as I learn what Phuket really has to offer here for me so guys and of course the food I actually just got 7-eleven here because I felt really comfortable with the 7-eleven um, a lot of tourist attractions here a lot of tourist prices guys if you're a tourist here, you expect to be paying more. If you're not, you're not going to be paying local price. You're going to be paying like the cheeseburger prices and all those kind of things if you don't know where to look. So I just went to the 7-Eleven, got myself, as you can see, some nice little bit of food there. Um, really cheap, 200 baht for everything. I got waters, I got protein, I got two meals, a sandwich and a other thing. So 7-Eleven, saving my ass as always out here in Thailand. All right, guys. So that's my first day here in Phuket and I just want to make a little announcement so I've been partnered with YouTube now and I'm allowed to post partnership so you can actually join my community and I have different price ranges that you can join at and you can go ahead and support me if you like but anyway guys I hope you enjoyed be sure to click the link in the description if you're interested in Thailand travel or getting help for your own amazing dream life here in Thailand so guys as always stay strong Woo.